So guys, we are going to get into some things today because I have my top 25 fragrances in my collection sitting right here. So I did have to go through a collection of about, I have maybe around 60 fragrances or so. So there were quite a few that got left out. But if you'd like to hear about my top 25 fragrances, please keep watching. Okay, so this is gonna be in no particular order because that would just be too difficult, but I'm gonna go ahead and start off with, oh gosh, it's already hard. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with Delina Exclusive. And I'm just gonna start off with her because if you have been following my channel, you already know that I'm a fan. Um, but guys, this one is just, so feminine, vanilla, floral, lychee, has a bit like bit of that tartness, sweet, rosy fragrance. And it's not rosy in the most freshest, freshest way. The Delina Exclusive, it's a little bit deeper, so that's why I tend to like this one more and wear this one year round. But guys, this one absolutely will be staying in my collection. Okay, so the next one is a newer one in my collection. We're gonna go ahead and get this out of the way. It is the same brand and it is Valaya. So this is a newer one and this is my dent at this point. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this one is a favorite for multiple reasons. This is your fresh citrus, skin but better but also like on another level like your elevated one and I typically pick up like the orange in here I know there's another citrus but I typically pick up the orange in here and this is just this one gets me a lot of compliments it is not offensive either so for multiple reasons I really like this scent my husband really likes this scent as well it is just if you want to smell fresh non-offensive and you still want something that's gonna last all day this is definitely it so this is number two Valaya by Parfums de Marley Okay guys, so number three, we're gonna go ahead and go with this beautiful bottle here and it is Melon Kiss and this is by Navitas Parfums, um, a collaboration with Gabby. And guys, this one I didn't realize how good it was in the beginning, but this really is like your fresh melon, definitely melon forward, but coconut creamy fragrance it's also kind of aquatic to me as as well so it's not it's coconut creamy but also like coconut aquatic that's what i get from it very beautiful to wear like on a summer day and y'all this this is a favorite of my husband's as well i i gotta say there's there's some here that are really um big favorites of my husband so i love when he reacts to my fragrances and he loves them as well but this one guys absolutely this is melon kiss by navitas parfums Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch it up a little bit and we're gonna go with a body spray. So I know this isn't a perfume, but it is a fragrance and it is called Away. St. Bart's, um, St. Bart's by Away and this is their hair and body mist. This one has become a favorite for me because it's so easy to wear and I get a lot of compliments on it. So I wear this to the gym, to the grocery store, times where I wanna smell good but I don't wanna overdo it and it's just like a casual day, I will wear this. This one has a pretty good lasting power for me as well, but it is like your, it's just very luxe. It's like a very luxe body spray, um, fresh, solar orange in here as well it's just very like luxurious like I imagine being at a resort with this type of fragrance on like going out by the pool spraying this on at a beautiful resort yes that is St. Bart's by Away okay so keeping with the I don't know what number we're on but what is it one two three four five okay so keeping with the um whatchamacallit <laughs> the body sprays i'm going to next go with sweet on the outside and this is by finery so this is one of their newer drops because you know they dropped all of those uh body mists and parfums and things like that 
and guys this really reminds me of like cookies like cookie dough it's just something I really love wearing to bed, I'm not gonna lie. I don't wear this a lot out, but I do feel like I would wear this as a base for fall because we're coming into fall and wear like a vanilla type of fragrance on top. But for some reason, like this makes me, this is the body mist version, so it does make me wanna get into the parfum version. It's just so likable. I don't know, like it's so likable. It smells very sweet, but it smells like cookies to me. It smells like cookies and I love anything that smells gourmand, but it's also a fresher gourmand. And that may be because it's a body mist. So guys, this one is a sweet on the outside by Finery. Okay, so next we're going to get into one that is my second bottle. It is a favorite. Um, it is a beautiful feminine scent and it is Dama Bianca by Zhirzhov. This is the Cosmorati line. This is my second bottle. The first bottle I had was like a little miniature bottle. This, y'all, is a citrus vanilla. It has like the kumquat in there, I believe is the citrus. Um, it has ambrette in there. So it just smells, it has this like earthy touch to it, but it's also very sweet. It can kind of be like subtle as well. And I do like wearing this in the heat because of the citrus. I don't find that it gets cloying or anything. But guys, yes, this one is very feminine. It's balance of citrus and vanilla. This one is Dama Bianca by Zhirzhov. Okay, so I'm gonna try to keep moving, keep moving through these. The next one I'm going to go with is none other than Gris Charnel, and this is by BDK Parfums. Of course, you can see my dent as well. This is like the only earthy scent that I have really, that I really vibe with. Very chic, very like earthy. It smells like maybe like fig. I don't, I don't remember what's all in these, honestly. Like but it smells like it can be like this earthy fig, but also sweet kind of fruity touch to it. And it reminds me of like rain for some reason. It reminds me of kind of wet earth, but in the best, like just like this wet earth sweetness. It's really, really, really good and I tend to wear this like on cooler days like when the wind is blowing a bit or early fall I'll be pulling this back out because I do find that it performs best in that weather so this is Gris Charnel by BDK Parfums all right let's stay on BDK Parfums next one is the one I recently got in my collection and this is Posse Soir the extra version now I am a huge fan of Posse Soir that was like my first niche fragrance that I absolutely fell in love with. So I love Passe Soir Extra. I'm um, Passe Soir, the original. This one smells very, very, very similar. I just find that it is deeper. It does hold better. Like I have an outfit that I unfortunately haven't washed for like two weeks, three weeks or something in my room and it still smells like this. So it sticks, it sticks. Whatever they did, to make Passe Soir last because that was the issue with the first one. It was not lasting. This one, it may be because they added more patchouli, it may be because of the coffee note, I'm not sure, but this one is very sexy to me. Even the original is very sexy. So this one is Passe Soir Extra by BDK Parfums. Okay guys, next one we have is called Lamar and this is by Kajal. So, just when I first learned about this and I first, oh, this is like the juiciest, most realistic pineapple. I just can't. I don't have any more fragrances from uh, Kajal, but I just hear about them being so good. And if they're this good, it's a complete performer. Me and my husband wear it. It's just, it's unisex, like right down the middle. Um, it's beautiful. So I know I've heard a lot about this line and I definitely want to get my nose on more fragrances from there. I feel like they'll become favorites for me as well. But if you're interested in like a very realistic, 
pineapple note that's not too feminine, not too masculine, and that lasts and is beast mode. Definitely get your nose on Lamar by Kajal. Okay, so next one, let's go ahead. It's sitting right in front of me and I'm, I don't know if I'm trying to save it for last or something because I love it that much, but this is Buon Talenti and this is by Perfumo di Firenze. This, guys, man, when I first smelled this fragrance, oh my God. When I first smelled this fragrance, it is cookies, apricot, vanilla, ice cream, like that's what it is. It's like this cool gourmand, very summer gourmand. There's fruits in the top, banana as well, but there's also those that cookie note. I believe there is like ice cream in there and it smells like, that's what it smells like. It smells like this cool, refreshing cookie dough, like Sunday with like the, 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 or what is it called? Like, is it the Sunday with the, or the banana, banana split type of thing where you have the banana in there, but then you have like the cookies and like the cream or ice cream. And it smells like that. And when I first bought this, I said, oh, this is like, I don't know anybody that would not like the scent. So guys, this is definitely a favorite in my collection. It is Buontalenti by Perfumo di Firenze. Next, we are going to get into Blanche Bet, and this is by Liquid Imagineers. Coconuts, milk, salted coconut milk. That is what this is. And I love this because every time I pick it up, I find that I'm reminded about how good it is. First of all, Den is something serious. But it's like a salted coconut milk fragrance and I love it, very lactonic. I get compliments on this one as well. This one kind of sits, sits closer to the skin for me, but I find that it lasts, um, it does last quite a while, especially recently I find that it's been lasting, maybe because I've had it for longer. So guys, this is Blanche Bed by Liquid Imagineers. Okay, so let's go back to our Parfums de Marly and talk about Altair. This one I bought a few months ago and I will be wearing it you know, as we go into fall, since we're coming across that. This one is unisex for me as well. This, it is marketed to men, but this is very unisex for me. It is that vanilla sweet cinnamon vibe. It almost smells like kind of berry-like as well. And just very good. Lasting power is amazing. Um, I love also when my husband wears it because I like when he smells kind of sweet to like not too, I like the fresh stuff too, but when it gets into fall and everything, I do like something that smells kind of sweet. So guys, this one is Altair by Parfum Smarly. Next, we have my beautiful wedding fragrance and this is Love Tuberose by Amouage. I could not leave this one out. It's still a fragrance, a favorite fragrance of mine. And I actually bought this as a blind buy, like the, and I received it the day before I left to go to Jamaica for my wedding. I was so happy that I loved it. This is your creamy tuberose. Has the whipped cream in it, has something kind of, it is kind of green, kind of green. So maybe it's a little bit of green tuberose, but that creaminess really balances it out and it smells like, just this very creamy flower, like this very creamy white floral. If you are not a huge tuberose fan, but you like notes like whipped cream and you like a creamy fragrance, I would give this one a try because even people that don't typically like, like a sharp tuberose or tuberose can smell a little bit too old for them, really like Love Tuberose. So guys, this one is Love Tuberose by Amouage. Okay, so we've got, we've got quite a few left, okay. Next, we are gonna go ahead and get out of the way, Vanilla 28. I don't know why I didn't talk about her first, but Vanilla 28, this is like my third bottle, second or third bottle, something like that. Um, vanilla Extrait. Vanilla Extrait, brown sugar, 
favorite for fall, winter time, base on top, whatever. I can wear this however, and it is just beautiful. I don't ever see me getting rid of this out of my collection. So this is Vanilla 28 by Kaoli. Okay, so next we're going to get into my Roja Parfum. So this is Reckless by Roja. This one, guys, this one just smells like bubble gum to me. I know it's a floral, but it's a sweet candied floral, and it smells like bubble gum. Like, it smells like bubble gum, but not in a childish way. Like, it's very much adult, but it's like a clean, floral bubble gum. Like, that's, <laughs> I, I can't unsmell it. Like, whenever I smell this fragrance, it just smells like bubble gum to me. But, like, I don't know, just upscale, not childish, and just bubble gum. So, guys, this is <laughs> Reckless by Roja Parfums. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and dabble a little bit into my Middle Eastern wardrobe and talk about Batik by Aroma Concepts. This is your watermelon, Jolly Rancher, hard candy, sugary, childish fragrance. Now this one, this is, this is young, this is youthful, this is fun, but it is addictive. It is so incredibly addictive. When I first smelled it, I was like, I'm wearing this. Like, I don't know where I'm going, but I'm wearing this and I will just spray myself down over and over and over again because it's just that addictive. So guys, watermelon, hard candy, Batik by Aroma Concepts. And sticking to a little bit of the younger, I'll say childish or just younger type of fragrance um, that you know your daughter can wear and you can wear. This is a knob, and this is by oh gosh, I don't know who this is by. I don't know where I got this, but this is called a knob, and this one. I don't know, I just really like this one. This one has kiwi, it's very sugary. Oh, it's so hard to, it, it smells like a candy as well. But it's very addictive. Like some of these young, you know, young type of sugary type of scents, I really like. I wear this one to bed a lot. It does remind me a bit of a candy vibe, but that kiwi does make it a little bit fresher. And it's youthful. It's very youthful. So guys, this is a knob by, I will figure out and put it on the screen. Okay, and then my last Middle Eastern fragrance that I actually have here, we're gonna talk about Kamara. This is by Latafa. So Latafa, be coming out with these fragrances. This is your warm apple cinnamon pie to me. I didn't get to wear it a lot because of the time that I got it in, but I did recently wear this because the day was a little bit cooler and it's a very, like this one lasts, this one lasts, this one projects, um, all the great things plus the price, warm apple cinnamon pie. That is what this smells like. So this is Kamara by Latafa. Okay, so let's talk about another newest one that I added to my collection. <sighs> and I could it not when I smelled it. This is Leisure in Paradise by Simone Andrielli. Andrioli, okay. I got a sample of this because I had heard a lot about it and had a lot of great reviews. This is literally, when they talk about like that cocktail, um, like that fruit cocktail thing, yes. Yes, and this one also gives me a smoky. This one smells like on my skin, it smells a little bit smoky, but I do get like this, almost like a p smoked pineapple. And it smells just so vacation-y. I love this fragrance. This one is unisex as well. So guys, this one is Leisure in Paradise by Simone Andrioli. Let's stick with vacation vibes and go ahead and get into Bora Bora. This is by Giardini T di Toscana. And yellow floral, like I've mentioned in other videos, I'm not always a huge fan of yellow florals, but this is a beautiful yellow tropical floral scent. Smells super expensive. And whenever I'm thinking about going somewhere where I want to smell expensive, 
expensive, but it's gonna be hot, maybe like a yacht, like I would wear this like on a yacht at a resort. That's the vibes for me. Like where I wanna feel my best, look my best, be my best, money, all of that, this is what this gives. So this is Bora Bora by Giardini di Toscana. And then we have this beautiful bottle here. It is my beautiful YSL. So this is, um, oh gosh, Lieb Intense, the intense version by YSL. And I recently, like when I found this fragrance, it was like a, a couple years ago. But I, as I try it again, I start to re really remember why I loved it so much. And it does smell kind of powdery. There's something, it, it is classy, but there's something really safe and cozy to this. Maybe it is the lavender and that powderiness. It smells really good, but it is like a very chic, upscale type of fragrance, but still feels very warm and comforting to me. So guys, this one is Leave Intense by YSL. And we're getting down to the last four. We're gonna go ahead and get Miss Ma'am out of the way. I actually wore this yesterday. And this is Keep Glazed by the House of Oud. I forgot in my last video, but the House of Oud. So these beautiful bottles. And guys, this is your sticky mango, sticky sweet mango. Yeah, I, I find it very sexy. I find it sticks to my skin, it lasts on my skin, and it is something that I tend to wear more at night because it's still hot. Um, I can definitely see this being like a tropical scent, a very bougie scent as well, but guys, very, very, very good. So this is Keep Glaze by The House of Oud. An unexpected mention maybe we're gonna go ahead and do Rosie by Rosie Jane so I've used quite a bit of this one and it is because it's just so clean effortless and just like who smells so good for like no reason like skin but better and I have been loving those type of fragrances recently where I, I, it's just your skin, but better. Like it's, it's not loud. It's not screaming at you. It doesn't smell like cookies or fruits or anything like that. It just smells like good skin, good washed, inoffensive. I don't get a whole bunch of people sneezing around me or anything like that. It's just very inoffensive and very beautiful. Like it's just a soft rose skin musk. And guys, it's absolutely gorgeous. So this is Rosie by Rosie Jane. And the last two, let's go ahead and get into Miss Forever Mood. This is I Am Her. And this definitely, I can get that red velvet note in there. There is a red velvet accord. And this one lasts, y'all. There's oud, but a very, very approachable oud. Like this doesn't smell like a stinky oud to me. It smells like kind of cake with oud. Like so cake, but they elevated it with that, that woodiness. Very beautiful. Like I love wearing this to bed. I'll wear this out. I love it. And this one, um, from my experience, is the one that lasts the most in her collection. So guys, this one is I Am Her by Forever Mood. And then last but definitely not least, because I didn't do these in, in partic any particular order, it is Maui in a bottle. This is the Sweet Banana, which I really want her to get this in a bigger bottle. I know she came up with individual sizes individual where you can get them like you know minis but this guys this sweet banana this tropical sweet banana like I swear like every single time I smell this I want to eat my arm like I, it smells so good like a beautiful sweet tropical banana floral like I don't know I do not know but it is absolutely amazing so guys this is Maui in a bottle sweet banana 37 by Kayali Okay guys, so that is gonna be the end of today's video. I would love to know your top 20 or 25 fragrances down below. So definitely leave me a comment and I will see you guys next time. Bye.